All right, let's do a walk around on a truck. We're getting ready to sell here at Go Retro. Uh, 78 F250, four wheel drive, super cab, Ranger, uh, blue and baby blue, um, original paint truck. Uh, definitely had some touch ups, um, but, uh, but yeah, for the most part, just original truck, original paint, shows its age, shows its wear, um, lots of patina. Um, you know, a few dents, a few rust spots, just, uh, just basically um, an original, really honest truck. Obviously the hood, you know, paint's baked off the hood, but, but not, not rusted through, not pitted out, um, you know, just, just baked off, just, just enough to look good. Uh, top of the cab, a little bit of paint missing on the top of the cab, uh, plenty of dents on it. Um, let's see here. Here in the back of the cab, she's got a little dent. Um, top of the cab, a little beat up. Um, rear bed corners, a uh, little bit of rock chips, a little bit of rusty spots on it over on this side. Got a little karate chop right there. A little rust spot, super common rust spot on these trucks. Um, got a little piece of metal in there that braces the bed. Uh, back tires kick some dirt up into there. It holds in there and rusts it out. Um, inside of the bed's been been rhino lined and it's flaking off a little bit, but uh, but altogether it looks pretty doggone good. I mean, it's pretty straight. Um, you know, obviously the fender wells are beat up a little bit, but you know, um, <laughs> I've seen them a thousand times worse than this. So this is actually, all things considered, um, a pretty good shape not rusted not rusted up here in the front um so it looks pretty good also drip rails on these trucks are just notorious for rusting like crazy and this truck is looking pretty good um you know a little bit of surface rust but not not rusted through which is <laughs> which is a rarity um also a real common spot to rust on these trucks up here in this uh kind of in this door jam the the top I guess condensates and the water runs down and kind of sits there and and rusts it. So there's uh, there's some rust there's some rust in that spot right there. Uh, the floorboards on this truck were rusted pretty bad. Um, so uh, put new floorboards in it. Um, I had another super cab cab, uh, so I uh, sectioned a lot of pieces out of that cab. Um, the super cab section was rusted pretty bad also. So um, uh, that was all welded back in and then. You know, rust inhibitor was put on everything and then it was painted, you know, laid some thick paint on there to stop it from rusting again. Um, this is just an original blue seat, um, not a split back. So not, I guess, originally a super cab seat, um, but it's got its, it's got its kind of cardboard back on it, but it's been, you know, it's been kicked and kicked and beat up and used just like the rest of the truck. Um, dash uh, is cracked. Um, little bit um not perfect but definitely uh definitely fits just fits this truck um perfectly uh the headliner in it was toast uh these cardboard headliners in these trucks are horrible for sagging and uh getting all rippled and then uh getting filled with mice i don't know why mice love uh to build a nest in the headliners of these trucks but i can tell you that they do um door panels too you know um not perfect by any means but uh but certainly usable, uh, fit, fit the look of this truck perfectly. Um, let's take a look under the hood of this truck. Um, you know, original paint um, and, and beat up a little bit, but you know, uh, not wrecked. This truck has is, is not been a wrecked truck. I mean, the, the, you know, the reveals on the hood and the doors, um, you know, are all, are all really good on this truck. So I, I know this, it's not like this truck has been in, in a collision. So uh, under the hood, um, a little bit of work done to it at some point, not by me, uh, some headers on it and a aluminum intake on it. Um, uh, but not radical. I mean, it's a, I don't, this truck doesn't have a cam in it or anything like that. It, it runs very, very smooth, very modest. Um, and actually it runs, it runs beautifully. Um, not super greasy either. You know, normally these trucks are between the valve cover gaskets and the intake gasket. They've got a quarter inch of grease, uh, you know, down the front of these motors. So, so all things considered pretty clean, 
uh, under the hood of this truck. Um, what else have I done to this truck? Oh, we put some front springs under this truck. Um, put the 67 to 72 uh, five pack spring, 67 to 72 F250 four wheel drive, um, five pack spring, uh, which, is a, which is a great, great happy medium um, for these low boy trucks. Um, puts it up just, just, you know, beautifully level with the rear of these trucks. If you go with the, the 73 to 77 high boy six pack spring, you know, it's probably another inch to inch and a half higher. Um, and, uh, and then you got to deal with the rear suspension, put some blocks under it and do some work like that. Oh, there's Rico. He's coming to check out our progress too. Um, also with the five pack spring, um, uh, you probably don't want to go with a 35 inch tire, six pack spring, 35s look amazing. Uh, with the five pack, they, they're a little bit tight in the wheel wells, in my opinion. So I went with a little bit smaller tire. Uh, I think that this is a 295, 75, 16. Uh, and it gives this truck, in my opinion, just, just an absolutely great stance. Um, it's modest. Um, it's not, uh, you know, it's not lifted way up in the air, but it's also not not slouching, uh, not slouching like a low boy generally is. So yeah, so it's a great, it's a great, um, great happy medium spring for this truck. Um, you know, this truck, there's a few ways to go with it. Obviously, you know, with the prices of these trucks going up and up and these super cabs, especially, um, restoration on this, on this truck would be, you know, be an amazing candidate for it because it's, because it's honest, because it's original, because you know what you're getting, you know, you're not going to grind a half inch of Bondo out of this thing and, and find out that, you know, someone has hacked this thing back together because it's just an original paint truck. Um, also though, you know, the way that this truck sits, um, is great looking, you know, it's great looking and it's really, really popular these days. Uh, we just, we just drove this truck around, you know, kind of daily drove this truck for a week uh, just to kind of see what kind of um, bugs needed to be worked out. Um, you know, tighten the power steering belt, um, you know, put some more clips in the door panels because they were rattling, you know, uh, a few things of that nature. And, you know, we just got compliment and compliment and question after question, you know, on this truck. You just don't, uh, you just don't see blue and baby blue super cab four wheel drive truck rolling around these days. Um, especially, you know, just kind of in unrestored original state. So, um, so, you know, this truck is, is really cool the way it sits. And, uh, it's also really retro the way that it sits.